What's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 5, City of Light, and this is the final episode. So let's get started. Hopefully we get what we want. Um, a lot of stuff that's still unfinished in this uh, series, so we gotta really, really pick up the game here. Previously... It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. you do that that was me getting rid of lady arkham's drugs the innocent people i did what i had to do i had to make the choice but what sacrifices to make ah! Ah! oh you psycho oh. now you can do whatever you want to me but lady arkham's plans are already in motion Harvey's definitely going to pay for this. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to by how you play. All right, time to kick some butt. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. <sighs> You okay, Gordon? You're done, uh, Gordon! Oh, man. Give up your badge and we'll let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this Two-Face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut up! Let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Right. Get at it. Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Looks like we got a new suit. The commissioner's still down there. Oh. That's always nice. Five point one. Sure loose aim. Let's see what we get. I have to be. 
follow my lead. I look like it hurt. Oh. In the lobby, the commission shotgun that close range. They can't hold out much longer. I like the way this episode started already full of action. on that guy you have to stop it the commissioner is he god damn it no not you too he died a hero giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Rogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor. He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. That was full of action. So I wonder if I'm gonna have to pick whether to go as Batman or Bruce. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. Then I'll make my move. It may be your best chance. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. And then Catwoman comes to the rescue. One year ago. I want to save for Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. But I was wrong. Thank you, Bruce. I... I, I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. 
The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. City of Light. Lucky. But someone has to die. <laughs> Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you at Arkham, burn down your home, and nothing. Please, Harvey, let these people go. Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face. Listen to yourself. This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until... What happened with Selina? This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! Cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! Holy snap. No, please! <laughs> this is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away! I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. <laughs> Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear Back I Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on Shep. Listen to what she's saying, Harvey. Oh, people will lie through their teeth for a stay of execution. She didn't betray you. Oh, God. What did I do? What... What did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Go for it, go for it. Stay back! Oh, God. Please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line! Harvey, no! This is not who you are! You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. Bruce, I need... I need the result. I was like, what the heck did he do when he got the coin? Without the coin, I can't... I, I can't... Make your own call. Bruce, please, I don't, I don't know what to... I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much, I can't... A safer Gotham, Harvey. Send him to us. Just like you want it.
It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. Done me and all of Gotham a favor. You did a lot of terrible things, Harvey. And now you have to face justice. You don't understand, Bruce. He doesn't care. There is no justice for him. Mr. Wayne. I... I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! That's what he deserves. Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. That is just the beginning of this episode. usual tea and the entire pantry I'm afraid didn't survive the fire this is from my own personal supply thanks Alfred we're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power well at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else Bruce these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Let's get on to it. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. 
us. Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Interesting. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. And Oswald the altered several public records using the Wayne network. <sighs> Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... Sociology? And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> that's better. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? And I think that's... Is there another record? Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go check out her file. Lady Arkham's file. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. And not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries, but yet it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients, reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. 
Interesting. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. You bet Speaking we will. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's... one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? I was just another mark to her. I should have known. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. They could, could be working together. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Alright guys, this looks like a really good spot to end the episode, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, I'd really appreciate that. We'll see you next time.